As we look at chapter 5 and all the complex information being stored regarding file information, uh, you know, the file access time and creation time, this little exercise perhaps will help, help you understand that a little better. We're looking at attribute hex 10, which is the standard information about a file. This information it states here, the beginning of this information is at offset hex 38 from the beginning of the master file table record for that file. Okay, so we, before we even get to attribute hex 10, we go in from the master file table 38 hex in. If we want to examine the actual file's creation date and time, we go in from that beginning of that attribute 10 to hex 18 ahead of that. Now hex 18 plus hex 38 makes hex 50. 38 hex plus 18 hex makes hex 50. So basically what we want to do is locate the master file table for a data file and figure out a way to get in 50 bytes in from that. Well, the book shows us a way in exercise 5-2. It's not the only way, but it's an easy way using some of the attributes of WinHex. So here's my data file that I am storing on a small partition, so it does not take long to, to open that disk image in WinHex. So right now I'm going to save it, and right now the time is 10.07 p.m. I'm saving that file right now, doing a Control-S. And now I'm going over to WinHex, and as though I were doing a fresh drive, I'm going to go ahead and close this one, and go Tools, Open Disk. I'm going to open that small partition disk that's on this uh, system that I've created using the, uh, the disk tools, the disk manager. Double click on that. It reminds me that it's looking at an old disk image. I'm going to go ahead and take a new snapshot of that small image. And now I'm going to go down and click on the file. It's not in subfolders like they show the, the particular example in 5-2. Mine is right there on that drive image. And you'll see my file right here. If I click on that file, its data will show immediately down here in the display area. Here is my data interpreter and to make sure that we're viewing file time, basically what, we're, what this means is I am wherever my cursor is here, it attempts to interpret that as a file time and I, as I click in different areas. Sometimes that time will make no sense whatsoever. Other times when I click on things, it will actually be a valid time. I also want to view my offset from where I start to drag to where I end to drag in hex, right down here in the corner in order to make sure I'm viewing it in hex is under my options general I turn on clicking I yeah I enable hexadecimal offsets I don't want to view it in decimal I want to view it in hexadecimal okay so I turn on that also so I click OK also in my options for my data interpreter I want to view file time whenever I'm attempting to interpret data now I'm going to view, turn these other ones on just for fun view DOS date and time, object linking and embedding date and time, and maybe SQL date and time. And how about Unix date and time? It'll attempt to display how that time would be interpreted whenever I click on a piece of data in there. Okay, so I'm going to click OK now. Now, whenever I click anywhere in the data, it will show me its attempt at interpreting that data into the various time formats that I've asked it to. Okay, now I need to go back and remember where I want to look for the particular times. So remember I'm from the beginning of the master file table header for a file I want to find attribute hex 10. Well remember the start of the attribute is 38 in hex plus 18 will get me to the files create date and time. And remember, 38 plus 18 makes 50 hex. So I come back to win hex. 
and begin at the beginning of the file, all I want to do is find out where is 50 from the beginning of this. So I click here and start dragging and watch that number in the lower right corner. And I see once I get to there, I am at hex 50 in. That means this piece of data right here is 50 hex in, which should be the file creation date. And I click on that, and I see that the data file time comes out to be 317. Well, well that's tomorrow. I saved it at 10 o'clock, but it's showing three, five hours ahead of me. 11.12 plus three more hours. Well, actually 2.49, the creation date. And I make a note of that. It doesn't know how to interpret the other dates. Uh, C dates coming out to be 1991 date. The only date that's making sense is the file time interpreted date. So that should be based on hex in 50. That should be this number here, 18 in from the beginning of the file. 38 plus 18, 50 in total should give me my files create date and time. So I make a note of that as I'm back over here. File create date and time is noted here. It's coming out as 249.53 on 3.17. The next time that I'm interested in looking at is 18 up to 20 hex. That's basically 8 over 18 plus 8 hexadecimal makes 20 hexadecimal. So I bop over 8 to get in hex uh, 58, 838 plus 20, or I just look where I was and go 8 over from there. So here's where I was. I got a time at 50. That's at 10. Come over 18. So 18 from 10 is 8 over. This should give me my other time, and I'm seeing a 317, 2017, 307. And again, the other attempts to interpret times don't come out because that data doesn't make sense. It's trying to interpret it in that manner. That's the only one that makes sense, so I make a note of that time. Again, seeing that it's about five hours ahead of when I what my computer time is saying. All right, so I make a note of that time. Now 